What's up everybody? Welcome back to Dawn and Dreams. I'm your lady Ms. Z and today we're going to be doing a bonus reading for you guys and this is going to be on the subject of the career path. Okay, normally I don't do this but we're going to do a little bit something different today because I've been getting a lot of questions about um, if it's the correct career path for you and this is going to kind of clarify some things for you and today we're going to actually be shuffling the cards. So we're going to do a little different today but um, just bear with me. And we're going to see how it goes. All right. So today I have three stones for you. So nothing related to my shop, just three stones. And you're going to pick the one that most calls to you. So I'm going to put each one up to the camera where you can see it. This is, I believe, cat's eye. And that was emerald, I'm sorry, emerald. And this is a bloodstone, I believe a moonstone as well. I think this is moon kite. All right, so you wanna pick the one that calls to you, that resonates with you the most. Do not pick the one that you, that you like, pick the one that resonates the most with you. And I have three decks that we're gonna to use today to kind of clarify um, if this is the correct career path for you. So get in your mind one career, and you can do this multiple times with different ideas in your head, but um, focus on one, uh, reset your energy by breathing in and out, and then um, we'll go right into it. So I'm gonna clear everything out. And we're going to start with um, Cat's Eye first. All right. So we're going to determine if this is the correct career path for you. shuffle that just a little more just like you want to get things moving really bad you want to put things in motion um may have been something that you want to do for a while. All right, they're telling you to take that leap of faith. Um, let me see if you can see this on camera. It's been on your mind uh, for a while now. So you might have been waiting, but this is something that you really want to put yourself Put your first foot forward in this. Like you want to um, basically get the ball rolling. It looks like a lot of baggage has been holding you back from this. And this career path is something that you really, really want to do. But it's, some, it's something that you can't really rush into, it looks like. You're going to get that opportunity to um, finally, finally 
take off with this career path. So I would say that this is something that you could be successful in, uh, but it, it's just like you've been held back for so long that you've been like, I don't even know if I want to do this anymore, but it is something that you seem passionate about. This could represent the other careers that you've had opportunities to take down, but you still want this one. You still have this one on your mind and it's like it's been on the back, uh, the back burner or um, it's been put to the side for a long time. But this is something that you still think about. And it looks like you just need to put yourself out there. So we're going to get some clarifying cards with the other deck with Spirit. I have to say about this career path. <laughs> Again, slow but steady. You're going to get there. It's just like it's been a long time coming for you guys. A long time. That's telling you to slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. I know you want to rush into this and try to hurry up and get it going. Um, it may be because of your age. It may be because um, you see an opportunity right in front of you. You know it's not the best opportunity, but you can't wait. You want to hurry up and get this thing going. But it seems like you just really need to kind of um, do it with modesty and um, still analyze the situation. I know you've had to wait for a long time, but... Um, yeah, masculine energy. That's that aggressive energy. That's that active energy. <laughs> it's going to come, all right? Whatever career path it is, it's going to happen for you. But you have to um, just kind of slow down and do everything um, thoughtfully. Put it that way. Because you got masculine energy and feminine energy. And feminine energy means that you need to nurture the idea first. Get a plan together before you get into that masculine energy and be active. Because um, you'll end up basically running it in the ground before it you know it even develops if you just rush into a situation. So this is something that you're going to have to be really, really patient with. And it's going to come. Let's see if there's any lasting messages. So we can move on. Oh, I'm done shuffling. Yeah, if you rush into anything, it's going to be very unfavored. Some of you guys are very, very socially awkward. And that could be hindering it too. That could be holding you back that you don't want to mingle with people about the ideas that you want. And, and some of you may be presenting your ideas to people and they may not really care for it, but it doesn't really matter. It's really what you want to do, okay? Um, focus on your priorities and, you know, just even if you have to do it alone, okay? Even if you have to uh, harvest this idea by your own self, all right? Be an entrepreneur for yourself. You'll be fine. But don't be afraid to be around people. All right, so that's the first one. Um, let's go ahead and get into the second one here. So Emerald, it's one of my favorite stones. Let's find out if this is the correct career path with you. Are you ready to find out? Let's 
get some messages here. Some of you guys are going after things that you really don't want to do, okay? Some of you guys need to work past your addictions. They're getting in the way of what you really want to do. Yep. <laughs> Same thing. Same thing with you guys. Like, for real? Some of you guys are working dead-end jobs and not really going after what it is that you want. Feeling kind of stuck at where you are in life. Thinking that other people are going to judge you for your decisions. And you're worried if this is going to be something that um, can make you, like, can make that family and uh, that home life easy for you. If, if the money is going to be right in this situation. But with this job, it's like this is something that some of you guys have been wanting to do for a long time. Like you could have, um, you know how you've been doing something since you were a kid and that's your passion. That's what I get from this reading. I feel like you guys are involving yourself or tricking yourself into believing that um, the career path that you want is what you really want. But truthfully, it's something else. And it looks like you have the support if you just really wanted to do it. Like, say, for instance, um, you want to be uh, the owner of some oil company or something like that. That's not really what you want to do. It's like you want to do something else. It's like something's calling you back to your childhood or um, your actual talents. And it's like you're ignoring your talents to do um, a career. Forgiveness. It's like you don't want to be judged by your family if you choose to do something else, okay? But you're going you're gonna to want to do that regardless. So the career goal you have in mind, and don't quote me on this, but this is how I feel. The career goal that you have on mind, it's all good, yeah. <laughs> The career goal that you have in mind, if it's to do that oil company, if it's to be um, a teacher or something, and that's not what you really want to do, you need to um, really think about what it is that's in your heart. Because I feel like you're ignoring that to get the career that everybody else um, is pushing you out to do. You will be able to take care of home regardless if you just... Um, Put yourself out there. You don't know what kind of money that you can make from this um, decision. And I'm telling you, people make money from anything nowadays. So uh, you really need to, even if you have, it's a balance between things. Even if it's a balance, even if you do um, what you truly love on the side for right now, and you still get that um, promotion to be the manager or a corporate, whatever. So have balance between that because it looks like, you know, you're just kind of being pushed to do other things, but in the back of your heart, you really want to do something else. So um, that's what I get from that one. Yeah, you're definitely battling with yourself.
looking for approval with others. Um, it's okay. It's okay to do what you want to do. That's your message, okay? So whatever it is, don't feel bad if it's not um, going to take off just yet. Because nothing really takes off really early like that. It takes a while. So the answer is yes for you too. But <laughs> you need to not ignore what your career, what your soul path is, should I say. All right, so let's get to the last one. All right, are you ready? Let's see here. Is this the correct career path for you? That last one is really heavy in my energy. It's like telling me you guys need to just do it, do it, do it. already It's like you're doing what you love to do, but nobody else approves of it. This could go either way, you guys. This could go, um, you could be very, very successful or you could be very, very unsuccessful with this one. But you have the ability to manifest whatever you want. I see there are some people watching you. Ready to really steal your ideas. Uh, you really need to be private with your ideas. What it is you want to do. Because I feel like there's going to be some legal action. <laughs> be very, very careful with some of you. Um, the choices that you're trying to do. Because it sounds like somebody um, is going to be potentially trying to steal your ideas. It's like you have the opportunity and there may be somebody in the back that's jealous of you uh, while you're trying to work. That comes off to me like somebody's jealous too. Like there is somebody just watching you and it seems like there's somebody that you're close to. Also, that means that this is something that you do want to do. It's something that you want to pursue, but don't not be uh, manipulated because you are going to get an opportunity to put this career path in motion, but do not um, be naive, okay, uh, to what you what it is that you want to do. All right, let me see if there's any that you manifesting, any other messages for you guys. I'm going to try to be quick because I know we're going so long into this video. But you know how it is. That's why I don't like doing it like this, but I thought I'd do something different. Are there any messages to go along with this weekend? Okay.
yeah i don't know if you guys are trying to do a partnership but this is not the person that you want to do partnership with all right this person is just like watching you like a hawk you're going to have to um be on your own with this one because whoever it is they're trying to manipulate you and that's not that's not what you want okay so this may be a career path for you, but this is something that you need to do on your own. And also watch your back if you are already doing it alone. Um, check for signs. Your spirit guides, your ancestors, they are sending you signs. Negative, um, good and bad signs about the situation. They are here to help you. Um, just regardless, they're just here to help you. A lot of times I have to listen to signs. Yep, unfair treatment. Some of you are, this person is just really trying to just mess up, sabotage whatever you got going on. This is definitely a hater. Um, so just watch your back. Just watch your back. This person could be trying to do the same thing that you're doing or um, potentially in a partnership with you. But this tells me this is where you want to be. So I would say yes. So everybody pretty much got a yes, but some of you guys just need to watch your back. All right, so I hope that helps you guys. Um, again, you guys can, if you want to kind of get into my world, you can hit me up on Instagram at Dawn and Dreams, Facebook at Dawn and Dreams. Also, I still have the February end of sale going on. So all that information will be in the description box. I hope this helps. And if you like this type of video, please give it a like. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and tell me, do you like the live readings? Because if so, I will do more of them. And peace out, you guys.